This is Titai on Floss TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, this is where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co-anchor with me, Ife Uluwa Shanke. It's good. It's good. I'm all right. I'm excited. Good news all around. So, mm -hmm. yeah. We are carrying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Regardless of COVID-19, we are balling, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's okay. definitely happening. Yeah, it is happening. I'm super mm. excited. Okay, moving on to the main story for conversation. Whilst Disney has brought to an end one of the best known names in the entertainment industry, 20th Century Fox, as it rebranded one of its TV studios as 20th Television, Disney has also renamed its other television studios, including changing ABC Studios and ABC Signature Studios to ABC Signature, while Fox 21 Television mm -hmm. Studios will be become touchstone television hmm. i don't know how i feel about this the same way i felt when i heard e news was going to be over after 29 years mm. i just hope they keep that classic sound for no they are they are actually they, 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 that's in the yeah they're keeping that you know that you know whenever you just hear that sound in the movie they're just keeping that actually gonna be dope yeah yeah so i just hope they keep that but um they already but rupert um what's it called now cheers fox yeah mm -hmm. and um it's only right that you own your stuff when you get it so um i just hope they give us the same quality and they've been doing this together anyway so i believe it's the the quality level is never going to drop mm. um, i mean like you said i'm not like you said i'm actually glad they are keeping the sound you just um mm -hmm. did and um of course the article is also talking about what we talked about this morning them being one of the strongest contenders trying to compete with netflix, netflix yeah. yeah with disney plus, disney plus. you know if Elmai was talking about the other day that whenever she hears disney forgetting about the plus behind mm -hmm. it all she thinks is it has to be something for children mm -hmm. and fun but i think they need to do a lot more in that brand because they've sold disney um so much so over the years to be for children and things that would entice you know people that are interested in cartoon and all mm -hmm. that so it's going to take a while but i like the outlook i like that they believe they can do this and I think they have the funding so it will be interesting to see Disney try to compete with Netflix. But you know it would take a while for us to get used to the old century television and all of that mm -hmm. but yeah it's, it's, it's a way to go, it's a way to go, it's yeah. a welcome development if okay. you ask me. Okay, um, moving on to another story. Whiskey becomes first African artist to cross 2 billion streams on Spotify. Do I really have to talk on that? Of story? course, yeah. If you don't talk, what would happen? No, no, no. Like, I feel like you. we're Please always talk. winning, so there's really no need to be, you know, like, we win all the time, you know, whiskey. Because it's in the news now, which is not in the news for how many Whiskey's, months. Whiskey is in the news it's, it's now. It's always for been in the news. For what? For, for something you guys no, it's always in the news for you it. standing him and bringing him up in conversations that have to do with okay, do with okay, boy or okay, whiskey or okay. anybody else. It does, we hate. So, it's all right. So, let's just focus, just you facts. Let's focus on our focus I'm happy right for whiskey. now. Which is I mean, whiskey. two billion, billion streams is a big deal. I don't know how much that is going to translate. <laughs> in money um i mean the last time we had a conversation regarding what um streams brought out so i think that was mr easy was mm -hmm. complaining about something for a particular platform so i don't know what it is like with spotify but i'm, I'm i kind of still know that two billion is big money yeah so um congratulations but I think mr easy then was talking about one song just one song getting all those streams right i think this is like all the songs put together no me bringing that into this conversation is, is based on the revenue would that to would translate to cash. yeah okay. mm -hmm. um well i that's not even the big deal for me he's now 100 what is the big deal is 129 on their artist music charts Globally, do you know yeah. what it means like that is big 129 is fire wheel we've not checked what bonabo is doing though i mean we all we know is what he's doing and that's what they're telling us because this news is about it's about i'm not trying to knock the phone <laughs> I'm happy for whiskey, but of course, I when I saw 129 globally, I mean, do you know how many artists we, we have, have in the world and artists that are doing great? So oh. for him to be on 129, that is super, super duper amazing. That's not too, too far from 200, though. Not far from 100. I mean, sorry, not too far from 100. You see, you're the hater so, now. <laughs> it's not too far from 100, so don't even feel like yeah. it's, it's, it's much. It's not much at all. Like, mm. it's, it's we're, we're getting there. We're mm. going to get to number, number 10. Mm. And that reminds me what the lady who was um, talking about Beyonce said when she said 
we already have the global stage. We don't need Beyonce to give us the global stage. Where if I was trying to say, no, Beyonce is a different stage. And I think I don't we understand. clarified that when we said, yeah, you need to define the global stage yeah, we for did. a lot mm -hmm. of artists as well. Because um, if we're talking about Africans having the global stage, I think Nigeria still champs that region. Are you trying to say uh, Beyonce is a global stage for Shatawali? That's um, it's it's a global stage for the Ghanaian industry at large, not just the Shatawali. No, 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 this now. We're, we're just being real. If fact but you know, you could have just had this conversation without going there, right? Why are you like this? I just had, but it's facts only. Okay. It's not, it's not anything context, being biased context. against mm, Ghanaians context. or anything. Mm. It's just what it is. Considering it that is you healed them in the previous episode, it is what it is. Yeah, it okay. is what it is. Moving on. Ani Dibia reacts to post. My is mumbling something in the background. Post claiming she is suffering or she was suffering from cancer. I mean, she's, um, this will get anybody angry um she her tone definitely you know she's not happy and she's saying this is um a campaign shoot she did with a brand um about three to four years ago um to raise awareness against um cancer, cancer. and it's just ridiculous for any platform to bring this back and say something like this without yeah. um confirmation i mean cancer is not even something you wish on Play your with. enemy right mm -hmm. and is i don't understand how it becomes something you want to use for clickbait or to get attention and um i mean this is sad and the saddest part is that i think we all saw this picture a long time ago and we thought it was going to be a movie like you said three four years ago mm -hmm. and we thought it was going to be a movie that was getting released till she came out so this is some so my own problem now are the people who go on to comment and stuff without fact checking i know not everybody's a trained journalist or but i think it's who going to comment or those who went to publish it because if you publish it those that have um put in a level of trust on your platform might we'll run just, along with it to say this is happening so you won't blame them for commenting well but we need to also have reputable blog sites where what you're putting out there is not i think we need to make one of them a scapegoat mm -hmm. do you understand like when i believe she should take legal actions like when a legal action is taken against one of those blog sites and they pay a huge sum of money i believe that a lot of them will be very very cautious of the things they put online because you can't be doing clickbait with people's personal lives do you understand and mm -hmm. it's it's really sad and some people would jump on this and go do some go fund me and make money off a uh, helen am i giving ideas here helen nazi woman but i'm glad she responded to this because a lot of people would just let it slide but mm. she had to respond to just let you know that what you're doing and i really hope they take it down and in case they don't i hope she takes legal action mm. and i'm glad that she's fine that's the most important part of the story for me i'm happy that she responded i mean this is not something you keep quiet mm. i mean you just have to say something and like i said cancer is not a joke and it's not something to play games or look for mm. clickbait with so i'm very glad um this is her reacting to this and saying take it down so ah new bloggers i beg let's do our job right right yeah bloggers like we always say are different from journalists so we don't blame you guys not entirely but um tea time <laughs> we'll continue right after the short break <laughs>